Ten. This was the end of an 858-mile walk from John O'Groats for 21-year-old Londoner David Ryder. It was also the end of an incredible act of courage. But David's legs have been paralysed with polio since he was two years old. He walked every foot of his marathon journey on crutches and leg irons. When he started his walk to raise money for a trust which provides outdoor recreation for the disabled, there was no one to see him off. Nobody seemed interested. But at Land's End, thousands had gathered to give him a hero's welcome. Fifty-nine days after he started out, they cheered him home, the man they christened Mr. Courage. David had struggled along miles of country roads, often in pouring rain, with only his unflagging and indomitable spirit to keep him going. Now he'd made it and raised over a thousand pounds. Elizabeth Taylor was among the first to greet him. She offered to pay his expenses after reading about the war. Her daughter was once crippled with polio. It was a welcome to remember, a welcome so well deserved. Stevenage, another marathon, this time from London to John O'Groats. On those outsized, out-of-date contraptions,